Hello boys and girls and welcome back to another product review from Q Listings. Today we are putting a carbon fiber shaft under the microscope, more precisely the MESS Ignite 12.2 mm. MESS has a bunch of reputable ambassadors, just to mention a few, it's Mika Immonen, Petri Makonen, Mario He, Alex Lely, the Moscone Cup captain, Jeffrey the Bull, the Luna and Hunter Lombardo. So as you can see here, the radial shaft that I've got, I'm screwing it on a Perry Q actually, and it was 100% flush. The shafts from uh, MESS, they come with a lot of different pin options, um, and it also has a vibration dampening core material. It comes with a Zan Plus medium tip. The shaft has an IG tip plate, an IG plate ferrule, some lightweight foam silencer, and it's made out of a composite material. Today's review will not be about deflection. I'm going to focus on look, feel, and also the sound. So guys, if you like these kind of reviews and the videos that I'm making, please just click on the logo icon in the bottom right corner and uh, hit that subscribe button. It's also smart to put on the notification bell. This way you'll get alerts the next time we post a video. This brand's reputation is impeccable and that's probably the reason why some of the most famous players in the world use their equipment. The MESS brand is owned by the Miki Corporation, which is a Japanese family-owned company. They were founded in 1960, and that actually makes them one of the oldest cue makers in the world. Okay, so I figure let's just start with a sound test. So I'll turn down the music and give you the sound it makes uh, a few times. So that was fun. Um, the sound any shaft makes is obviously a combination of the tip that's being used, what kind of material the shaft is actually made of, and also what kind of silencer foam they are using. And obviously also the acoustics in the room matters. I've got 12, 15 different carbon fiber shafts and I would say that the sound that this mess Ignite makes is, uh, you know, it's not bothering me. Um, some of the other shafts has a really loud pitch metallic sound and that bothered me, but we're all different so it might not bother you. So I hope you guys understand the analogy that I'm trying to get at here. Um, the sound that this makes, it's not the same, but it's similar to you know when you close the door of a really expensive car you can kind of hear uh, hear quality if you understand what I mean so moving on to how the shaft actually looks um, there's no reflection from light there some shafts give you a terrible uh, reflection from the light from the lamps uh, that's really boring um, but there's nothing like that going on here so the color, I wouldn't call it black, uh, we call it like more like a really dark gray. And obviously fingerprints, that's all, always an issue with carbon fiber shafts and there will be some here as well. But it's easy, just use a, a paper towel and uh, clean it off. So just put some water on a clean paper towel and wipe it off after you're done playing. Once in a while you can use alcohol pads uh, and then you can just use the same pads that you use to clean your eyewear. Going back to what I said in the beginning of this video, uh, we will not be focusing on uh, deflection on in this here review. However, as I mentioned, I've got 12, 15 different carbon fiber shafts and I will be making a video uh, using AI to measure all the differences in deflection. There's already a bunch of videos out there uh, with um, measuring the uh, different uh, deflections, but I'm going to try to do it using AI. Uh, I don't expect to see a huge difference in the results, but it'll be a fun little project. So uh, look out for that video 
uh, it will should be arriving in you know two to three weeks so hopefully that gives you even more motivation to click the icon in the bottom right corner and hit that subscribe button so moving on to the tip the Zan plus medium it's a really good tip uh, I personally don't uh, have a lot of experience with Zan but uh, uh, as a default tip it's awesome uh, I know that tip is really something you know people have strong opinions on and normally you find a go-to brand and if that's Zan then okay the job is already done if not you know it's an easy thing to change the tip if you want to do that also I'm gonna touch on a misconception that a lot of people have um, some actually think that a carbon fiber shaft will give you more spin uh, and more effect in the cue ball that's not the case the primary benefits of the carbon fiber shaft is that it's more resistant to dinks and scratches and obviously there is no warpage but the primary differences between a wooden and a carbon fiber shaft is that a wooden shaft can give you inconsistent results over time whilst a carbon fiber shaft will give you more or less consistent results all the time Having said that, I do personally experience a little bit more spin and effect in the carbon fiber shafts. Uh, and you know, it's not about having the most spin, it's about uh, being able to control it. So it's difficult to say uh, if a carbon sh fiber shaft is better than a wooden shaft. Uh, it all depends on the player. Uh, I would say that there is a reason why a lot of the top professionals are now using carbon fiber shafts it's uh, not so much uh, that it's so much better it's more that it's uh, so much more consistent so in conclusion if you got an extra five six hundred dollars to spend uh, there is no way you can go wrong with a carbon fiber shaft from Ness Q's. I really like it and I highly recommend it Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.